Kuroko might be very uh, creepy and touchy, Misaka, but it was fate that brought them together. Mm -hmm. She just barged in and demanded, and somehow Misaka is like, all right, it's fine. It's also funny because Misaka is so like such a tomboy, right? And Kuroko has all these different fantasies. And like the panties that they wear, it's just so funny. Mis Misaka is just... There's nothing very like... I don't want to say nothing, but the feminine charm that you see in Kuroko. It's not there, but Kuroko loves that shit. We got uh, more like bonding between them. She was getting cucked here and there. It's also funny that it's only been a month of them knowing each other. But hey, it is what it is. Let's see what we're going to do today. A girl walking the street. At night, uh oh, she gonna get you. Oh, it's Ojo Sama. <laughs> she is in danger. Her and Kuroko, I think, was clashing for a bit. Donata? Oh, look at that fan. Self proclaimed ace. <laughs> what the hell? There's nothing there, though. She backed up to something. There's nothing there. Invisible? Tased? Oh god, a middle school girl has been tased by... Another girl. Mm, I don't think we've ever seen this girl. I don't know. Garden of Education. Going to a different place? So like, they live so far apart in Academy City that the reason that they're traveling to right now is where all the elite schools are? Yeah, it literally is an Ojo-sama district. Elite. A peasant like me. She really loves this, huh? She loves the whole Ojo-sama dynamic. She has like a fantasy of like what elite, you know, middle school girls are like. And she's like, oh, not me though. I, I am a lowly peasant. I am not an elite. She's sweating. Very cute, Satan. Yeah, for sure. Okay, she's very, very passionate about luxury desserts. Only here? Wow. Gardens of Education. Ojo Sama this a rainy day though, that's not really a good thing. How'd you know? Oh, weather forecasting. Is this the tree diagram shit? Was that Orihime 1 just predicting the weather there? Are we allowed to enter? Man, the security here is pretty high. You're allowed, uh, peasant girls. Yeah, something changed. The fuck? It's just like... Feels like we're somewhere in Europe. Like, even the sound, like, the song playing. Even, like, all that, like, Ojo-sama stuff, right? Aren't those all inspirations? Like blonde girl with rolls and shit? It, that's straight up just Europe shit, right? <laughs> so fancy. So extra. It is! We're in Europe, bro! Europe's a continent, but you know. Yeah, are we gonna meet some villainesses here? Just showing up in like, oh, oh, peasant girls, that uniform. Where are you, foul beast from? Beyond the Ojo Summit District? Bah, bah humbug. I see some of us are still stuck in the evolutionary phase. Yeah, where's the villainess at? Was that the girl that kidnapped? The first one here? I don't know. The uniform's a bit different too. Because there's many different Ojo-sama schools here, right? The uniforms are different, and the ones that we're familiar with, like this, you know, beige cardigan shit, right? That's, that's you know, Kuroko shit. Oh! 
Wah, wah. Made a fool of ourselves. You go the wrong direction? No, no, we're here. Satan is ruined. Satan is wet. Oh, shower time. More fan service. You want some shorts? No, go back, go back, go back. What did she say? She wants the uniform too. Okay, okay, okay. And she wants the elite girl uniform. Come on, give her a spare. Let her role play. Oh no. Uihara's gonna be the outcast. Satan has now joined the Ojo-sama club. They're gonna bully, you know, Uihara for looking like a peasant pleb. Is the girl? Did she have a tie before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tie, the hair, the outfit. Finally, yes. This one is the one. Yes. Slowly, 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 slowly. Careful. Don't go too far. Okay, here we go. This is a different school out. Why would she go for a Congo? That's Komoi Sensei's height. Who the fuck is. Maybe the goal is for the small sign to have the girls bend over. You know? The owner of the restaurant's a pervert. So they want the girls to bend over to look at the sign to lower their vision. While doing that, they'll flash their panties. That's my headcanon. Monte Bianco. Yo, these names are so fancy. What? You had your fancy one, remember? Button, where's your fancy one? Uh-oh. Judgment. Yes. On call. <sighs> Bro. If you guys are entering the workforce and you have the option to go not pick on call job. Well, honestly, right now with like an employer's market, you'd be just lucky with any job. On call is the worst. And I didn't realize that what I was signing up for. Because like software engineering too, if your product is client facing and you need to be, you have like clients all over the world or different time zones, you got to be there. So like many companies have different structures and how they do their on call. We had like a queue system where there's like 12 people on the queue and the phone would ring and basically it would go from one, two, three, four, all the way to the bottom. Ideally, the first person should pick up so that they can get put to the bottom once they've done their task. But lazy motherfuckers will just not pick up. So then someone else gets the phone call at late at night and they have to do it. And the assistant can be abused because if they're just lazy, you know, they'll probably get called out by the boss, but it's just like, ugh, it's, it's just terrible, terrible shit. I had to deal with that for like a year for a bit. Thank God I'm not doing it anymore. And instead of, you know, taking on calls at 4.22 a.m., I'm now watching Railgun at 4.22 <laughs> But, oh, on call is just... Ooh, ooh, I hate that shit. Timing is not good. This is not good. This is Also, just a little bit more context. Our clients are so fucking stupid that most of the on call they would call for is because they couldn't do a password reset. And I'm like, you call. At four in the morning, because you boomer ass couldn't figure out how to change your password. And it's very easy for us to do it, but just like, imagine that. You wake up at four in the morning. And, and here's a twisted thing. The meta for on call gets distorted because even though you should be mad that you got waked up, waking up for nothing, at least it's a very simple task. And you can go right back to bed. Sometimes the fires are fucking on. And it's like everything is down. Payment systems, it's not working. You need to figure this shit out right now. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm barely fucking awake. Okay, let me try to do something. So it, it's a weird thing of 
Yes, it's a very trivial thing, very annoying to call somebody for a fucking password reset. But at the same time, due to the nature of on call, it's just like, oh, sweet. Now I'm like expecting. I'm like, come on, come on. Please let it be an easy one. Please let it be an easy one. Isn't it crazy how like the meta now is kind of changing? It's just so fucking frustrating. And another crazy thing with the queue system. Let's say I picked up the phone and I answered. And I got put at the bottom of the queue. Some other... That same fucking idiot that called will repeatedly call, causing the next person in line to call to pick up the phone, and then they get put at the back of the queue system. But what the fuck? I picked it up. I'm solving it. And these other dudes now get put at the bottom and get pushed up the queue? <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. But when I'm on the other side of that, and here's where it gets twisted again. If I'm the sixth person that picks up because that idiot's calling over and over again, now nah, I'm at the bottom of the queue. Even though I, I shouldn't be. And now I'm like, <laughs> got him, easy. But this is stupid. We have a meta where we're expecting mistakes and simple, you know, trivial problems because it makes my life better. The system is broken. Saturn and Misaka alone again. The pairing, it's got split, split again like in, you know, first episode. Saturday, man. Or late? Ugh. Oh, you should be saying, I'm sorry, girls. You, you know, you should enjoy your weekend, your day off, but I'm sorry. You got, it is what it is. Instead, come on. <laughs> Judgment. Fuck. <laughs> Disappeared. The BDBD taser girl. Sat 10's gonna be in trouble. Kongo, the attacker's gonna show up. She's invisible. Her esper powers invisibility. They have some powers, man. Sono Satan, careful! I'm getting baited. There's no way. What happened? Nah, no, you're trolling me. She probably took the panties and left. What? Show me! I'm not showing us! Show me. <gasps> Masaka. Her face is not disfigured. It can't be the panty. There's no way. The uniform is all there. There's no injuries. So like, no, the, the bra maybe? Uh, what? No, no, no. The reaction was after looking at the face. Maybe there's a lipstick mark. <laughs> Maybe there's a lipstick mark all over the face. She goes around, invisible, stuns girls that she likes, and then she kisses them all over and leaves. Like, what, 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 what did the face happen? The eyes are covered. Yo, did her eyes get gouged out? What the fuck happened to the eyes? Wait, did they show her eyebrows? What if she shaved her eyebrows? <laughs> Shaving a girl's eyebrows, that's fucked up, bro. Like, what if, what if, that, what if that happened? What, what is it? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, 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 The forehead. <laughs> what happened there? Something happened here, bro. Some some fucking mark. Something funny happened, I think. Oh, why did you get hit? Did she shave my eyebrows, baby? What? Oh wait, what? what? Security footage shows. 
Okay, okay, okay. So the invisibility may be very like conditional or to the outside eye, third perspective, we can see it. But to Congo at that moment, he can't. So maybe something of like, okay, I've chosen you as a target. I am now invisible to you only. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Forty-seven invisibility. Damn. Yeah, kind of like now from Charlotte. Exactly. I saw a pigeon outside. I saw it. Look! 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 Pigeon! 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 It's flying! 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 I saw it. Brain blast. ありました。脳内植物を見ているという認識です。該当する能力者は1名。だからよ。セキシュ。ジュースレベル。2。I Oh, Tokyo Dai is level 3 plus. That's how elite we are. Damn, even in the Ojo-sama elite district, our school is even more elite amongst the others. Damn. Okay, show me your eyebrows. <laughs> well, it's gonna be the eyebrows. Eyebrows? Eyebrows, eyebrows. I was right. I was right. No eyebrows. She, she, she fucking just took all the I, eyebrow thief. Eyebrow thief. Why, 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 why? Because that girl, does she have eyebrows herself? Does she want to inflict pain on others? Wait, 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 wait. I mean, her hair. Her hair. I, I can't see the eyebrows. So I'm like, maybe she has no eyebrows and she feels... Angry at the world, and she's like, The world will know my pain. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking <laughs> tase random girls that I think is too fucking, I don't know, good for their own good and fucking get rid of their eyebrows. Maybe she's collecting the eyebrows, she's plucking them. <laughs> Eyebrow thief, she's storing it. And then every night, she goes to the mirror, she goes, and then she, and she fucking puts the eyebrows on and she tells herself in the mirror. I'm so pretty. <laughs> this is so funny and stupid, bro. The eyebrow collector, the eyebrow bandit. Eyebrows take a long time to grow. What's she gonna do? She needs to get some longer bangs. <laughs> she drew that's drawn in, right? <laughs> that, that's drawn in, right? She has like my eyebrows now. It got shaved, right? It's kind of unibrow too. Is this drawn in? I can't tell if this is drawn in or not. Yeah. yeah, maybe she also has really fucking strong eyebrows like me, bro. I got some fucking caterpillar, like, yeah, my guy, fucking Rock Lee eyebrows. I should probably get this shit treaded. I wonder how I would look with, like, different eyebrows, because this shit is way too fucking bold. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yep. Mm. No, she looks like she has normal eyebrows. It's not one frame. Yeah, she has normal eyebrows. I thought that she also had like rockly or eyebrows. Mm. But a reflection. <laughs> it's war now. Yeah, she got a unibrow. What's that thing gonna do, though? She got no powers. Uyharu will be the hacker man. Damn. Bro, how many setups you got here? Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Bunch of random bullshit. What is this, bro? It's, it's, it's like when Accelerator was saving Misaka Misaka. And it's just like, I'm going to hack the mainframe. And it's just fucking HTML on CSS. Some bullshit that a middle school girl could do to like make her home fucking webpage, bro. Look at that. She's typing on that one. It, she's got like 17 different monitors. She's going. Doo -doo -doo -doo. She should be typing with her fucking feet too. Are we abusing our powers? Hacker man. 
That's crazy. We are abusing our power as judgment. Every vision. Dude, this is like such a such a what's violation of privacy, but fuck it, let's go. 2458. This is all Ojo Sama district. That makes sense. The targets are us, so it's gonna be these areas. Mm. Smart. Big brain. Only one place. Okay, we've limited the amount of places to look. Okay. So, like, it's an act. Misaka will now go as the bait. Haha, <laughs> bye bye. Oh, no, sorry, this is not Misaka. It's like a random girl. But this back alley, it's gonna happen again. That's not one of our girls, right? Yeah, it's a random girl from our school. Stun gun. <laughs> Got him. Dude, those eyebrows. The unibrow right in the fucking middle, bro. <laughs> Invisible. Crepes, crepe, big crepe propaganda. Don't fall for the crepe propaganda. Oh, the crepes on our foot shirt. Oh. Yo. Nope. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that was dope for a bit. And then, don't you dare leave. Look at my band. I'm gonna leave now. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Yo, that computer screen is crazy. Yo, that monitor over there. Truly the peak of like, I know this is a very old show. Light novel was created 2004 for Index, right? But like that, this, this is the technology, bro. It's some fucking 1994 shit, man. This some like, like, like when, when, when you still have like gray boxes with like speakerphone shit, with like a mouse that has like a fucking, fucking roller in the middle, bro. Holy. That shit is older than most of you. You're under surveillance. Uiharu is the eyes. Academy City is 20 30 years behind modern world, bro. Okay, she's run out of invisibility. Misaka. Railgun is here. Eyebrows. <laughs> we should cut her bangs and shave her eyebrows. Yep. We should literally cut her bangs and then shave the eyebrows. Fuck it. Shave her head. Make her bald. Mm-hmm. Yep. An eye for an eye. Brow for a brow. <laughs> Got him. We know how it works. Uiharu was the eyes. Mm, now that I look at her bangs more, the eyebrow is way thicker. Before it had a thin line, but now it's way thicker. So she definitely has thick ass eyebrows. She hides with bangs and her envious of other girls with pretty eyebrows. It looks cute. So she like, you too shall know my pain. <laughs> yeah, railgun her. Beady beady won't work on beady beady. Yo, railgun her. Do you know who this is? Clearly you don't. Right back at you. Yeah, you fucked up. Bzz, bzz. I don't feel bad. Now, shave her bangs. Shave her head. Alright, on call is over. We can go eat cake now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at Sata's face. Look at her face on these eyebrows. This caterpillar eyebrows. <gasps> Thick eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at me. No. Nobody can see me. No. Get away. 
get away. <laughs> It's like a person with a leper, bro. Just always hiding and hiding. No, you will not look at me. Don't look at me. No. I'm disgusted. <laughs> this is so stupid. It's silly, bro. This is so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just like the guy did. Who was it? Was it Accelerator? Was it Tobo? Which, which, guy, which guy rejected you because of your eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what's it? No, no, backstory, backstory, backstory. Oh no, is she gonna confess? Did she confess when cherry blossoms were happening? What happened? Okay, it's a random dude. Wait. So they were already dating. So <laughs> he, he was dating her already. And then Oh. I don't know what hit her. Taser girl. Eyebrow girl. I wanna give you a kiss. Let me close your eyes. And he he like fucking did this. And he's like, oh, oh god. Those eyebrows have more testosterone than the entire men of my family. What the fuck? I'm out of here. And then she was like. Dude, she got catfished. Yo, she she catfished him with the eyebrows. Different girl? He left. Oh no! He left her for a Tokiwadai girl. I I think the implication here is that you know she he and her used to be a thing. They were holding hands and shit, right? Now he's going for the elite elite, and why? Because her eyebrows are just better. <laughs> this is so mean. This is so mean. <laughs> and then her bangs fucking flashing up, bro. With her eyebrows. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is a peak slice of life ship. <laughs> Yo, the only thing is I can, you know, save her. And I bet she's tried to shave it before. I bet she has. My headcanon is that she's tried to shave her eyebrows before. But it just keeps coming back so fast. The only thing that can save her right now is Imagine Breaker. We need to Imagine Break her fucking eyebrows or it's impossible. Oh. Oh no. The world shall know my pain. I think Sakten... <clears throat> they should have gave her a unibrow. <laughs> if this was a unibrow, it would be so much funnier. <gasps> it's cool. Bold. Wow, Sakten. I think she's lying, but... Yeah. Such a sinful woman. Satan the goat. The cops. The eyebrow bandit has been captured. 20 years in prison. From jail. I think she's in love with them. Oh, this is Yuri. Such a sinful. Onna. Yuri. Eyebrow on eyebrow action. She's found another girl with equal eyebrow. <laughs> what? It's not drawn in. I don't fucking know, but this is Yuri now. Someone that accepts her eyebrows. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> Are we gonna get cake? Hmm? That's an important. That's that 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 is very odd. The data banks are wrong. Calculation, something is off. Conspiracy. This is a very important plot point. Who is messing around with the data banks? How does it even get created? Is it a failure of tree diagram or is there someone else manipulating information? This is important. Shaka. Okay. 
Special ink. It's not gonna go away. One week, bro. Satin wear headbands. Yeah, hat's cool. Wait a week, wear a hat. And that's another episode of Railgun. Dude, this is some of the funniest shit. The eyebrow bandit. This is so unserious, but dramatic, funny, and stupid. That flashback. <laughs> I wonder if this is going to be like the theme of Railgun. Like compared to Index, Railgun is just like basically this. Maybe there's gonna be some serious arc, but for the most time, we're just chilling and having fun exploring Academy City and more about it than having fun stories like this. This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, I think the most important plot point though is the databank. The databank being uh, compromised, right? I don't know how the databanks are really uh, filled out. Either it's a tree diagram issue or some other people are manipulating, you know, the flow information. Why? I got no clue. Uh, learned about the Ojo Sama district. I didn't even know. I thought Tokiwa Dai was like just one school on like a different area, but it's like an actual fucking like district of Ojo Samas. And ours is like the best. And what else? Saten? Is Saten the main character of Railgun? Nah. It's just episode one. In this episode, Satin has a very... Everyone has a role to play, but it is interesting how she kind of is like put on the front lines, if you know what I'm saying. She obviously has no powers, and it's it's kind of interesting to see like how they're going to develop her. But um, Satin, from what I've seen, she's great. And I wonder if she's truly going to be powerless forever but, or, or something, but like she's great. That's it for me. If you're still here, though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. Until next time, take care.